everybody. I'm back for number three. So for these coasters, I'm using the same color palette as video 274, which is a Lazy Susan, and I will list all the colors here and in the description. Just so you know, I often am just going on a roll and go rogue, and then I forget to turn the camera on, so I sometimes pick up in the middle of a coaster set or whatever I'm creating. That's the uh, Athena, the Kaput Mortem Violet Black combination which I love this color. I mean, I love Kaput Mortem Violet anyway, but for a fallish feel, this this black makes it a little more fall feely to me. I'm gonna go a little lighter on this color. Because this color kind of doused out, strangely, the Payne's Gray. Okay, paint's gray. Need more of this, and I'm getting running low on this again. But it's easy to make more of this. Okay, cell activator. Keep going that direction. I must be a little off kilter. Okay. The white. This is video 141, my American Flow Troll cell activator. And you can see it's nicely haloing, which is what you want to see. Here we go. So I always like to talk through blowing out the cell activator. So what I do here is I blow straight down into it until I get it to form a nice round circle, hopefully. And once I see the ridge form, I blow at the ridge, which then blows the cell activator over the paints and the paints over the pillow. And I didn't mention this already, but this pillow happens to be recycled and strained scraps from prior pours. So I just blow it out Ideally not going all the way to the edge because as I spin this it's going to stretch out anyway So I just continue and go around the coaster until it's fully stretched and then I get ready to spin it So all I'm doing right here is just stretching the pillow to the edges and the sides to make sure that the Composition has a place to flow to when I get ready to spin it and it's important to get it to go over the sides Otherwise the paint will act as a break where it hasn't been stretched to the sides. So yeah, I'm just doing that right here and I'll be back in a second with the getting ready to spin. Some people have said, oh, I don't like the idea that you're blowing on things. Well, you know, it's all gonna get resin, so it's gonna be covered, not a worry. It's like, I, I that's not a worry because like I say, it's gonna get alcohol wiped off before resining and then it's going to get resined, and there's not going to be any chance that any germs will be in direct contact from any kind of blowing at all. So let's just put that thought to bed, and let's get this thing spinning. It's amazing some of the things people think. Now, birthday cake, of course, you're not going to blow on a birthday cake anymore, not with what we've learned from COVID and how germs are transmitted, which of course we should, we kind of knew it anyway. But now for sure, you know, you sneeze, you cover your mouth with your elbow. Same thing with coughing. You just prevent germs from spreading. kind of the decent thing to do. Let's get you spreading out, folks. Come on. And I always clean my scraps off the deck here, number one, to stop it from slinging around. And then I will use 
this paint after I've strained it out for more blooms. This one's looking really good. Really good. Let me finish cleaning up my cell activator. They got something that fell into it. I don't know if it's the white cell activator or if it's paint that got flung. I'll also add here that sometimes people use the skins from the tabletop to make earrings and jewelry, but I don't know how to make jewelry yet. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Come on, keep coming. Come to the edge, baby. Come to the edge. Come to mama. Nice spin. Almost there. Well, oh, this is kind of cool up there. I like that. It's the cell activator. It'll, technically, it's probably an imperfection, but you've got to embrace the imperfections because that's what make, makes things unique. That's what makes it really stand out. That little extra white there, although that could yeah, it's, I think it's a combination of the cell activator interacting with the um, iridescence. This is beautiful. It, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to stop right there. Let's see, get this one little spot. Although I bet it's a, I bet it's color coming through. I don't want to lose that, and I really like this, and I like that. So it's got, I've got like corners with the white coming on, which really look cool. So I hope you guys don't mind me making so many coasters. For me, they're easy, they sell quickly, and I have to keep making them to keep them in stock. A little white on this corner, I'm just going to dab a little color into it. All right. This is, this is beautiful. Look at this guy. Beautiful. That's the video I'm going to show you guys. Gorgeous. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. I put out at least three a week. Also, at the end, I will list my coaster playlist so you can get other ideas for color combinations and color palettes. If you've been watching me, you know I like to color combine, and I have a lot of different color combinations to look at. So everybody, take care until next time.